Okay, the chain, Fleetwood Mac. So, I have a capo on the second fret for the lead guitar parts. Um, and then I've detuned this string by a whole tone, the thickest one, and the smallest one by a whole tone. So if the strings were played open, this would be D and this would be D. The rest of the strings, leave them alone. So here's our intro. So, we start, well, you're going to be in this position for the majority of this intro, apart from the last one. So, the first one, so I'll take this one bit at a time. So, the first one you've got is this. So, you go into a sort of D7 shape. I'm just going to play each one one by one instead of explaining it, because you've got the tab. Um, this is just what each one should sound like. So, the first one... Second one, third one, so same as the first one, then the third one, same as the second one but with an extra note added in there. The fifth one is the same as the th fourth one, then the next one is like the first one, but with a slight variation. See, so instead of going like the first one, we're going to go with that hammer on in there. Next one. Then for the very last one, you change shape to this and you go. So all together, oh. ah. Okay, verse. So, it's mainly about the shapes you're going to get into here. So this is the first one. So you have this sort of shape, basically. It's like a D. And then you do a little hammer onto the third fret. So I mean the third fret up from the capo. This does get confusing in the verse here, because I'm I'm count, I am count up from where the capo is. But once we get up to some of these other chords where we're going up to like 12, well, the, we're going to the 12th fret, but it'll be the 10th fret because it's 10 up from the capo. So that once you go up past a certain distance, it does get quite confusing. So you got first, then you're going to go ring finger seven, index finger covering five on the two smallest strings, and your pinky is going to be tucked in on the seventh fret of the smaller string as well. This is quite a stretchy chord. So that's what we've got. Then you're going to go up here. So this is the tenth fret up from the capo, but it will, your finger, middle finger will be on the double dotted one. So that shape was middle finger on 10 slash 12, index finger on 9 slash 11, 
and then ring fingers on the double dotted one. So then you take the same shape, move it back two frets. And then the second time round, I'm going to go same picking pattern, but I've lifted my index finger up. So I'm now doing that one open. And then we're going to go after you've done that. On the very last one in the verse, now apologies if I screw this up, but the ending is different. There we go. So you got. So imagine that's the very last one of the verse. Um, so the first verse, I think it only happens it only happens twi twice. So you do it on the second one, that ending I just did there. I still can't play. Um, and then on the um, second verse, I think it repeats four times, so you do it on the fourth way. It might be three. I haven't done written out the structure yet. Um, then the chorus. So first chord we've got, I'm doing five and five, ring and pinky. Then I'm muting the D string. So I'm not playing that at all. And then I'm using my index finger to do three and three on the B and G string. So, so you've got this. Hear that? Muted. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on that chord. Then you go to this. So like our E type chord that we've been playing where it's D shape, but you know what I mean. Then we're going to go to this, which is a C major. Uh, that would be a C major in this context. Then you're going into a C major shape, but it's actually a D major. So you've got, uh, and if you don't love me now, you will never love me again. I can still hear you say it, you will never break the chain. And if you don't love me now, you will never love me again. I can still hear you say it, you will never So that's our like bridge. So same same shape again. Still got our E shape. Then you go like that. So you've got then your middle finger does that and you've got three and three instead of two and three. Then you tuck your index finger here onto the second fret of the smallest string. And then it goes into our solo, which I will do a separate video on because then this video will be too long. Um, but yeah, cool. Um, it's probably quite a lot to take in, a lot of weird chord shapes like when we did Al Green as well. Um, so just try your best at the end of the day. They're still, it's a chord progression at the end of the day. It's just Lindsay Buckingham has really cool, um, interesting finger pat picking, um, well, just picking patterns. He does, to be this fair, it's worth mentioning Lindsay Buckingham does play with his fingers and I have played this with a pick. So gem, you know, the proper way of doing it is finger picking, but I can't be bothered and I don't have long nails and I'm not as good as guitar as Lindsay Buckingham so anyway um
be sure to check out the video on the solo and I'll upload that separately. Cheers guys.